Hey guys, what's up? Apple Fanatic, and today I have a video on how to bypass the iOS 5 UDID activation screen you get when you update to your i your iPod, iPad, or iPod, your iPhone to um, iOS 5. In order to bypass this, you are going to have to obviously be running iOS 5. A word to note is if you bypass it on an iPhone, you will not be able to receive text messages, data, or receive phone calls and vice versa with sending. You won't be able to do anything with the data because you're bypassing your cellular setup. Um, and it does not fix it when you plug it into your computer. So um, I don't recommend doing it on an iPhone you use. If you have a spare 3GS lying around or a spare 4, go ahead and try it out. Um, but yeah, so let's get started. You're, once it's restored, you should see a uh, thing that looks like this and it will say iPod. You're going to want to go ahead and triple click on your home button to enable a voiceover. Voiceover on. All right, so once your voiceover is on, you're going to want to click once up here where you see the time. 7 .09 PM. Take status your bar. three fingers and Select to the status bar, to you're going to want to drag down. You are now in the notification center. Simply go ahead and click three times on the home button to disable the voiceover. All right, now you're going to want to go ahead and in the corner, you're going to see a Yahoo symbol or a Y with an exclamation point. Click on either one of those. You are now in your browser. Go ahead and enable wireless if you have not already. And then you simply go ahead and click on the home button one more time. And you are now successfully bypassed your ID activation. This will have to be done each time you reboot your device. Um, if you have a tethered jailbreak, I mean, if you jailbreak it, um, there's a video out for I put out. If you want to look at it, you can click on the screen now and it'll redirect you over there. This will um, not activate the jailbreak, so you will have to do this every single time. There is a very good chance this will be patched in iOS for uh, iOS 5 beta 2. So go ahead and try it while you can. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you have fun with iOS 5. I do recommend you register your UDID so you are not left up the creek without a paddle when iOS 5.2, iOS 5 beta 2 comes out and you pretty much cannot do anything with it. So guys, I hope this helped. If you have any questions, let me know just to prove to you that I am in fact on iOS 5. Go to about and you can see software update usage, but here we go iOS 5. Also to note that with the, uh, any the devices, your capacity will go down a little bit. On iOS 4.3.3, it is at 6.3, and on iOS 5 beta 1, it is at 5.9 gigabytes capacity. So that is something to note if you have a lot of music. So that's pretty much it. I've also noticed that multitasking does not work if you do not have a registered UDID, but iTunes Sync does work. And I'll just show you that real quick so you have proof. So you're going to want to go up to set up as a new iPod. Continue. You're going to want to um, either do uh, automatically sync. I don't do it. Hit done. And your device will then begin to sync. And you can see the little status bar in the corner. And as I said earlier, multitasking does not work for whatever reason. So if that is important to you, I do not recommend updating it or up if you updating it and then registering your UDID. So guys, I hope this helped. Any questions, just let me know. PM me or leave a comment below. But for Apple Fanatic, this is me saying peace and have fun with iOS 5. Great comment and